good day in Minnesota. We went swimming, as you saw, and the next night we went to the largest mall in the world, which you saw, and then we stayed overnight with uh, Wendy's family, and now we've moved on out of Minnesota and we're in South Dakota. And there's a car alarm going off behind me for reasons unknown to me. But anyway, we're going to show you the Corn Palace. You've got to see this. As I said, you have not lived until you have seen the ultimate Corn Palace. Um, the building is actually made of brick, but it has corn uh, decorating the outside. This is in beautiful downtown Mitchell, uh, South Dakota, population of 300. Uh, let me show you the tops of this. This is kind of cool. It's mildly amusing, and I will zoom in on this Chinese lady to kind of give you an idea of the corn cobs. Can you see the corn cobs there? See, there she is with a dragon. And then over here is, I guess that's some kind of a chariot or something. The uh, Morris King is in the middle here. up of the trim of the building, Siobhan wanted it known that these were all natural colors of corn and corn byproducts. It's something that inside the corn museum, looking at uh, several select uh, murals, the design of the building in 1907, what's very interesting is the Indian good luck uh, symbol just placed on the building. It was exhausting. There was so much to see. So now we're heading back to an RV. If you let me take my blanket. Ends of uh, South Dakota. And we're about to enter into the Badlands. You can see the beauty of the landscape here. This is uh, the farm. What do you think of this? Oh, is this impressive or what? John, what do you think? I think it's windy. You think so? No, no this, this is this is windy. windy. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, people who traveled the prairie and what their reaction was when they got to the Badlands. I bet that. These are like real prairie dogs. These aren't like zoo prairie dogs. These are prairie dogs that live in South Dakota. They even have license plates and everything, man. They squeak like crazy. Here's a bunch of them coming down here. They're coming down to see us. They're hoping we bring some food or something. That's an amazing uh, sight there, something you don't see every day. I guess this is their squirrel equivalent. At the visitor center. Justin. And what's it what's it called? Chip chip. Yeah, it's a buffalo chip, isn't it? It's a prairie soddy. It's a sod home. A home built into the ground and covered with sod, supposedly. I've got a bad camera angle just because of where the light is. Uh, unfortunately, I hope you can see the heart of the Badlands. I don't think words can describe this. This is really impressive. Hand back, yes. There's Jack and Jared. Yeah. 
magnificent Don't desolation. Don't run. Truly magnificent. It's in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing else around this area. No towns, no cities. And it's one of those things you kind of have to see before you die. Jared and Jacqueline to come back around on this So, Doug, where are we now? Well, we're in the Badlands uh, State Park in South Dakota. This is just amazing to me. I, I've never seen mountains as pretty as this and as strange and odd in formation as this is. Incredible. Place called Wall. That's where we are. We're in Wall Road. Okay. We saw signs for miles, hundreds of miles. To get to this place. Jack? Good. Yeah. Are you having a fun time? Waiting here is starving, it's not fun. Oh. Where, what did you enjoy most about today's adventure? Seeing the mountains of the Badlands. Bad, bad, badlands. You like the prairie dogs? Prairie dogs are cute. I saw you chasing one. Yes, I was chasing one. How about you, Jared? What was your funnest part of the day? Uh, the mountains, too. Really? Okay. I guess the mountains are Well, I guess we'll get our food soon. Okay. Yeah, I hope. Oh, <laughs> 